Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool um, Easter springtime bouquet of crepe paper daffodils. Um, just using a plastic bottle, any ribbon or lace that you got that you want to decorate your pot with, a bit of paint if you have some but it's not necessary. You'll need some straws, maybe some barbecue sticks, that's what I used, and some green and yellow crepe paper, some scissors, a bit of tape, maybe a bit of print stick if you're lucky, um, and if you want um, a orange highlight pen, and that's all that I used. So there you go, there's my beautiful bouquet of daffodils for my mum. My mum loves daffodils, and if you know Anne from the HD, then you know she loves daffodils. Um, so if you want to make this with me, stay tuned, I'll show you how to make it. So to make your stalks of your tulips, you're going to take, I'm taking a, a barbecue kebab stick, skewer stick, um, but you can use um, straws, a paper straw if you like. You're going to take your glue and you want to be really careful because you will rip the tissue paper. I'm using green tissue paper here. You could use green paper if you have some. Paint some paper green or colour it in with some felt tips. And you're going to put some glue on the top and the bottom edge of the paper so that you can roll your straw, whatever, um, onto the paper. So place that one edge, making sure both ends are covered. Fold in that raw edge and stick it to it. And then using some pressure, roll, 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 roll. Keep rolling until you reach the other sticky edge. Give it a roll against the counter. Ooh. And there you go. There's one stalk. You can make a few. I've made my favourite number, number seven, and I've made different sizes. So I just cut my skewers down and made an array of sizes. So to make some leaves, I've taken several folds of this green crepe paper and I'm going to cut a long leaf looking shape. So I'm gonna cut it upside down to show you. I've got the folded edge here and I'm gonna cut it so that it comes out symmetrical. I'm gonna cut a shape that looks like that. So when I unfold it, I should have a lot of leaves. There I am, there's my leaves. So in order to attach my leaves to my tulip stalks, which I made a minute ago, all you have to do is attach a little bit of glue to the bottom edge. So, taking your tulip leaf, again, you wanna be nice and careful if you're using crate or tissue paper like me, because it will rip very easily. Place a little bit of glue on the bottom edge. Grab your tulip, decide where you want to place your leaf. Roll it around. Just the bottom edge is what you're rolling. Just the bottom edge. And ta-da, there's your tulip leaf. Beautiful, and then you can add as many as you want. I'm gonna add a fair few to my other stalks, and then I'm gonna make the flowers. So we're going to start to make this first section of the flower, which is the inside bit. 
And we're going to start with the very inner part, which covers that green stem. You need um, a little rectangle of your yellow crepe paper or whatever paper you're using. And for this, I'm just going to lightly colour it orange using just um, a highlighter. But you can use a felt tip pen. Just be gentle if you're using crepe paper. Remember that it will tear if you're not gentle with it. Um, and use a pen that's not running out because mine's currently running out, which is great. Um, basically, I just wanted a little bit of a colour difference on the inside um, and I couldn't buy orange crepe paper, so this is what I'm doing. So I've made it slightly orange. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just so that it looks a little bit different. What we're going to do is we're going to cut slits down it. So slits, don't cut all the way, just cut um, nearly two thirds down the paper and this will probably make two... Um, flower inside this one rectangle anyway so you don't have to have loads of them so in fact I'm going to cut this in half so there you go there's my little um, frayed up piece of paper now on the edge which is still together the bit that you didn't cut we're just very gently going to put some glue on that edge here then we're going to take one of our stalks such as this one and I'm going to roll it so I'm going to start on the end squeeze the glue onto the stalk and begin to roll it so that we can really create a cool inside to our flower like so there you go there's the inside now you can make your inside a little bit more um frizzy if you cut extra lines in there you can go back and cut extra if you like once you've got your lines just frizz it up so it's nice and crazy in the middle like that so I'm going to do another one and then we'll do the next part. So what I have done next is I took a larger piece of my crepe paper, you can see this is the bit that we used for the inside, and I took double the size, and I cut some triangles along the top edge like so, and then I put a tiny bit of glue along the bottom edge. Now I'm taking one that has a middle, and I'm going to create, whoops, I'm going to create first like a cylinder shape, so I'm going to glue the two ends together like so like this and I've got a cylinder you can see my thing finger and then I'm going to put this onto my daffodil itself so I'm putting it around the stalk and then I'm going to pinch the bottom so I'm pinching the bottom together I'm not squeezing the flower to change its shape very much I want to just squeeze the bottom of the tulip uh, the daffodil on to the stalk like this and then I'm going to take a little bit of tape and run it around the bottom so that I can pinch that together and squeeze it onto the stalk. So here I'm taking a bit of my green tape. I don't know why it's green, but it's the only masking tape I have left, which is great for this. And I'm going to squeeze my inside of my daffodil onto my stalk like that there you go there's the first part so you can do multiple ones of those and then you'll have a whole thing and they can be different sizes if you want I'm going to do a few more and then I'll get back to you and I'll show you what we do next So next up we're going to do some petals, so you can see I've drawn out a really basic petal shape, it goes skinny at the top and really skinny on the bottom, 
Um, I folded lots of sheets of my crepe paper together so I can cut lots out in one go. And I'm just gonna cut out my petal shape here, making sure again it goes thin at the top and thin at the bottom so that I can attach it to my stalks. Just even that out a little bit. There you go, there's my petal. So um, a daffodil has six on each flower and you wanna think about that when you're cutting. If you're making lots like I am, then obviously you'll need a lot. So after you've done that, you take one of your petals off, just stretch it so that it gets a little bit of a curve to it if you're using crepe paper. That's one of the good properties about it. You're gonna place a little bit of glue at the bottom. Grab your tulip, which is starting to take shape now, and we're gonna attach it to the bottom of our stalk with a squeeze and a pinch. And there you go. Now I can tell that my leaf pattern is a little bit too large for my daffodil, so I'm actually gonna give them a trim. Um, and then I'm gonna attach five more to each flower. Remember, a daffodil has six petals on each flower. There you go. I'll come back to you when I've got five more petals so, on this to show you. To make my bars, I took a um, shampoo or a, a shower cream bottle and I just cut the top off and I placed it on the inside there. So when I put my stalks in, They'll have a place to stand and I'll put some either blue tack or some play-doh in the bottom there to squash them into and I'm just going to decorate this now so what I thought I would do is cover this um, in tissue paper and then I can paint it any color that I like and that's what I'm gonna do next so coming back to my pot what I decided to do in the end was just give it a little bit of paint and I wrapped a little bit of this lace around and glued it on top just to make it look a little bit prettier inside I put some um, play-doh and now I'm going to take my tulips, uh, my tulips, my daffodils, and I'm going to push them into my pot. Let me take you a little bit further back so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just standing them up. You can put them in any way that you choose. I have different lengths, so I'm squashing them in, giving them a little bit of shape. I probably can only really put five in here. Uh, we'll do five. Mm, let's put this one a bit shorter at the front. Ooh, squash it all the way in. And last one, maybe at the back, he's pretty tall. There you go. Pull apart a bit so they get a little bit Have a little bit of a closer look from above. Pretty cool, huh? So can you see a little bit of orange in the centre that we did? There's my pretty cool crepe paper daffodils. 